hello everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to show you guys how to make this dutch croquette i'm not even going to pronounce the dutch word for this but this is one of those food that we love and i always have this in my freezer and it's super easy to make whenever we uh, crave for this I just fry it and you can serve this with some grainy mustard or spicy mustard or you can use a buns or just a plain white bread and make a sandwich now let's go ahead and get started I'm going to start by boiling my meat I have a combination of veal and beef and I'm just going to add some bay leaf uh, garlic some black pepper corn and some red onion you can use white onion or shallots and I'm just gonna cover this up with uh, cold water enough that make sure that everything is fully submerged this cooking process could take about two to three hours and you can do this a day before I actually used to do it that way and I will just refrigerate and finish it up the next day and then I'm going to put the lid back on and turn the heat down on very low and let this cook until the meat is nice and tender. That's about two and a half to three hours. After about three hours, I am going to check if my meat is tender and it should be ready at this time. And as soon as it's ready, I'm going to remove the meat and I'm going to save the stock. As soon as you remove all the meat, I'm going to pass the stock into a strainer and just set this aside until I'm ready to use it later on. As soon as you have your meat, go ahead and remove uh, some of the bones. You can also remove some of the excess fat and only leave the meat. You can also use uh, chicken or pork with this recipe. You don't need to use veal or uh, beef. It's really up to you and go ahead and chop up your meat i'm going to cut it up against the grain as you can see right here same thing with my uh, veal i'm just gonna chop it up and going to sit this aside while we make our sauce in holland they actually said that this recipe uses leftovers uh, meat so use whatever meat you have in your uh, kitchen and just make the sauce and you should be good to go now let's go ahead and make our sauce starting with my butter i know this is a lot of butter but you know me i love butter butter and then i'm going to saute a little bit of shallots as soon as my shallots is cooked and tender i'm going to add my flour and i'm going to let this cook on low heat for about a minute or so after about a minute i'm going to slowly add my milk using the whisk to make sure I don't have any lumps into my sauce and I'm just going to bring this on low simmer and the sauce is going to thicken up. I will also add some black pepper, salt, nutmeg, and Worcestershire sauce and I'm just going to give this a quick mix and bring it to a low simmer again. I have my heat on uh, low heat at this time. I will also add my stock. I did not use all of the stock from uh, the meat. I'm only using about two and a half cups and I'm going to mix this up and bring it back to a boil. The sauce is going to thicken up more as you bring it to a boil. I will also add my fresh parsley and squeeze up lemon juice and that should be it I know it seems like it's a lot of work but it's so worth it and if you are going to make this make sure you make a big batch don't make enough for just you know a day uh, I always make this and it always lasts us for months I love this croquette because it freezes really well and it's perfect for a party because you can make this ahead of time. I am going to now pour my uh, filling 
and just refrigerate this until it's completely chilled about an hour or you can do this overnight if you want to finish this up the next day after about two hours you can see that it's completely set and i'm going to just then uh, portion this up i'm using the small ice cream scoop to make the bite size a uh, croquette and i'm just going to round this up and set this aside and i'm gonna continue to do this until i have enough i am also make a large size uh, croquette this one is for sandwiches and i'm just going to use a larger ice cream scoop if you don't have ice cream scoop you can of course use a spoon and just make sure that you make uh, you try to make it same size i'm going to finish up by uh, making my croquette with the small bite size and also the one with the log size for my sandwiches as soon as you're done shaping your croquette go ahead and set this aside and make your coating I have my eggs right here. I'm just going to give this a quick whisk. I actually end up using six whole eggs with this recipe. Now let's go ahead and prepare our flour. This is just plain all-purpose flour. I am also using some plain breadcrumbs. You can use panko uh, breadcrumbs if you have that. And then let's go ahead and roll this into the flour first. Make sure everything is coated completely. And I'm going to do this uh, for the rest of my croquette. And then I'm going to roll this into my egg wash. And slowly roll this and finish it up into my bread crumbs. While I'm working on this, I have my fryer uh, ready at 350 degrees we're going to fry some of this croquette I'm only going to cook a few and the rest I am going to freeze if you're planning to serve this for a party it's best that you use the small bite-sized pieces it also looks good and it's easier to serve than the big uh, log shape I always love recipe that I can make ahead of time or I can make a big batch and just freeze it it makes my life so much easier I guess now that this is all done let's go ahead and bring this into the fryer and cook some for us to eat I'm going to fry some of the croquette for the sandwiches and you can eat this by itself so you don't need to put this in the sandwich but I'm just giving you guys an idea of how you're going to serve this and I will also use some of the bite-sized uh, croquette and this one I just like it because you can dip it in the mustard or any hot sauce that you like and it's delicious snack or lunch and there you have it I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching I hope to see you again next time bye